What's up everybody, Hunter Avalone here, and welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Facts. Today, we're talking about the COVID-19 vaccine. In light of states opening back up for business, the COVID vaccine has become a very relevant and polarizing topic. Despite vaccine acceptance growing, still 40% of Americans decline to commit to take the COVID vaccine. There are a few reasons why Americans who are typically pro-vaccine are hesitant about this vaccine. Firstly, many are concerned about the fact that the vaccine was developed in less than a year, so it seems like there would be room for error. Secondly, and relatedly, the COVID vaccine has not yet been FDA approved. Thirdly, the vaccine was developed and rushed under the Trump administration, which might frighten those who lean left. Those who develop or approve the vaccine might not be trusted by those who lean right in light of Trump's narrative that medication was being held from the American people to spite him. So overall, there are suspicious people involved from either standpoint. Lastly, some people are hesitant because of some cases where people reacted poorly to the vaccine, which were widely publicized. Let's go through these concerns. Should we be concerned by the expedited development of the COVID vaccine? Is it safe? It's important to understand that COVID-19 is a member of an already existing coronavirus family. Other members range anywhere from causing common colds to being the source of the SARS outbreak. Coronavirus has been studied extensively for over 50 years. Dr. Yeager, an associate professor of microbiology, explained early efforts by scientists at Oxford University to create an adenovirus-based vaccine against MERS provided the necessary experimental experience and groundwork to develop adenovirus vaccine for COVID-19. The fact the foundation of the vaccine was already known already gave its development a head start. With a literal world of scientists collaborating on creating a vaccine, along with with extensive public and private funding, the desired results came quickly. If you're interested further in the science of the vaccine and how it was developed, you'll find a link in my description with extensive detail. The next concern focuses on the vaccine not having been approved by the FDA and only authorized for emergency usage. Even in the case of emergency authorization, the FDA meticulously reviews the data from each clinical trial phase beforehand, with the high interest in volunteering in the studies, along with combining trial phases, resulted in rapid completion of the clinical trials. There are three trial phases a drug must go through to be emergency usage authorization, and the third phase must be ongoing and consistent for a while before it is officially approved. So make no mistake though, the emergency usage authorization still requires requires a high level of testing, and only if the benefit outweighs any known side effects can it be authorized for emergency use. You still might feel weird about taking a drug that hasn't gone through the entire approval process of the FDA, but you should still understand that all of the vaccines have gone through extensive testing and that other vaccines were approved for emergency use as well. The FDA issued emergency authorization for the anthrax vaccine in 2005 for military personnel, as well as Tamiflu in response to H1N N1 in 2009. The following concern is trusting the officials surrounding the vaccine. Liberals need to just get over the fact that the vaccine was developed during Trump's administration, as Trump really only provided funding, and the success in clinical studies speaks for themselves. On the other side, with Big Pharma and the USA's medical process needing to be revamped, that is not a reason to distrust the global consensus on this vaccine. Lastly, if you're concerned because you heard a scary story about a reaction to the vaccine, Remember that the stories you hear about the bad reactions are greatly disproportionate to the stories you hear of successful vaccinations. According to the CDC, 21 cases of anaphylaxis, potentially fatal allergic reaction, after administration of nearly 1.9 million first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, 11.1 cases per million doses. This is a 0.00001% chance that it will happen to you. If this stops you from getting the vaccine, you should also consider never driving a car again, as your odds of getting in a car crash are substantially higher. Lastly, if you're waiting for herd immunity because you are too concerned about the effects of the virus, keep in mind that in order for herd immunity to even work, the majority of the population have to be immune to the virus, either from being vaccinated or contracting it themselves. There are two important things to note here. One, we do not know how long a person is immune to COVID-19 after they have contracted it, and this is key 
to being able to attain herd immunity. And two, in order to reach herd immunity, 80 to 90% of the population must be immune either through prior infection or vaccination. Currently, 21% of US adults do not intend to get vaccinated and are pretty certain more information will not change their mind. So until everyone gets vaccinated or has contracted the disease, including you, and a good number of those 21% of anti-vaxxers catch COVID, don't hope for herd immunity. In the end, it's important to be educated on all things COVID vaccine to combat the constant brigade of misinformation that is coming to you from screens and boomer memes everywhere. So go, get your vaccine, and instead of spreading COVID-19, spread the truth about vaccines.